we done? Get a good mood? Yeah. Excellent. Well done as well, may I say, for battling your way through the terrorists to get here tonight. <laughs> Because uh, did you hear about the, the rumour at Westfield? Yeah. 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 That was, I, I, I explained to me no. again. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, the story goes that yesterday somebody's found a phone. Yeah. They've traced this woman. It turned out to be this Muslim woman. She's got the phone. She's oh, thanks very much. We've got in a lot of trouble. Uh, you've done me a big favour. Stick here at Westfield Shopping Centre tomorrow. Right? 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 <laughs> And that caused untold troubles on the internet, right? Because people immediately thought, oh my God, they're going to bomb Westfield Shopping Centre. Of course, I had to take a different tack. I thought, maybe there was a burger sale. What? We don't know, do we? <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to get to the front of the queue there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing, but you're thinking, will we die? Will we die? I don't know. Will we die? <laughs> it's getting terrible if some of them Islamic extremists are a little bit tetchy, isn't it? A little bit tetchy. I'm trying to order spaghetti in a restaurant in case it spells Alareza Wanka. <laughs> 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 Right, we get suicide bombers. You know how this works, you know, suicide bombers. You must know how it works by now. You get some character like Abu Hamza. Do you remember him? He got jailed for life in America the other day, didn't he? <laughs> I mean, that was a I mean, round of applause all around Britain. No, no bigger round of applause than the British prison officer who used to have to wipe his arse every morning. That's the <laughs> but he's going there. It's, you get a character like that, he'll get these impressionable young Muslim males and he'll go, what you want to do is you want to grab hold of a plane, smash it into a tower block, you kill the non-believers, and you float up to heaven and you get the chance to shag 72 virgins, right? And <laughs> call me cynical, but if he tried that story on me, I think the first words out of my mouth would have been, well, uh, why don't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look at this state of it, mate. You ain't know, you know, you know, you know, getting shag on <laughs> <laughs> not what the ladies would call a catch. <laughs> possibly catch on to things, but you're like <laughs> This is what they do, right? Now, before we go any further with this, I have to point something out. I'm an atheist, right? I don't believe in God or anything like that. If you do, good luck to you, right? But it's not for me. I'm, I'm, I'm a total atheist, right? I really am. I, um, I mean, officially, I am Church of England. That's what they rubber stamped me before I had any say in the matter, right? <laughs> I remember at school, they said, what religion are you? And I went, I am a prostitute. I am not... <laughs> similar spelling, I didn't know it was <laughs> I do remember it was just after that the PE teacher took all the shines of me. And, and I mean, ironically, I think I was actually put off religion by a religious education teacher. I don't know if yours was right, right, but my school, the guy was a psychopath, he was an absolute nut job, right? He, he would like, he would hurl, he, he would hurl Bibles at you in the class, right? He'd just lob them at you like that. And a Bible, that is a heavy book to get twatted in the back of the head, <laughs> I mean, sometimes it used to knock the cards out in the hand, right? <laughs> it was always screaming at you. It was always screaming at Masturbation will make you go blind. And I'd go, I'm over here, sir. <laughs> Off of it, right? And also, as I started, as I started growing up and experiencing life, you start noticing things. Whenever, whenever these nutters kill people, like the other mob the other week, right, in Paris, right, whenever they kill people, it's always the same. They catch hold of something, didn't they? And go, why'd you do it? They go, God told me to do it. No, they always come out with that. Why'd you, why'd you kill it? God told me to do it. Why'd you kill those? God told me to do it, right? I started thinking to myself a long while ago, and at that time, we brought God in for questioning. <laughs> He's clearly up to a lot of no good, isn't he, right? I think he's though, he'd be used to some interrogation, wouldn't he, God? If the old Bill got him in his cell, he'd, he'd crack in no time, wouldn't he? All right, God, where were you on the night of the 4th? Well, I was everywhere. <laughs> I think you're going to have to get us to listen to my son. <laughs> I think you'll find you're my son. <laughs> Listen, so I'm not, I'm not a religious person. I, I love the idea of heaven. I love the idea of heaven for your suicide bombers, right? I like the idea, your suicide bomber, he turns up to heaven, he walks in, he goes, hello, I'm a suicide bomber. And the other bloke goes to him, so am I. And the first one goes, he wears me 72 virgins. And the other fella goes, well, turn around, because you're my first. <laughs> Beard 
出来，我起来。<笑>